you rediscover the thinker as a sculpture rather than something you see in a commercial or an advertisement. And the kiss, which has lived on the covers of six sex manuals for years and years, well, you now see it uh, as a sculpture, and you see where it came from in Rodin's art. It took eight years to put it together. Now, 400 pieces. The largest collection ever of Rodin's work will be on view here in Washington at the National Gallery of Art. Auguste Rodin, born 1840, died 1917, considered one of the most famous sculptors in the world, a major influence on today's modern sculpture. Now Rodin's famous bronzes, his not-so-famous marbles, and his unknown works have been brought together under one roof, thanks to Stanford University art historian Dr. Albert Elson. Elson wanted people uh, to see the genius of Rodin's uh, work beyond its commercialized use. Maybe his genius lay in making sculpture credible, not just to other artists, but the man and woman on the street. Uh, even today, and in this room, people look at his suffering figures, for example, or aspiring figures, and they marvel at the uh, skill with which they're made, but also they're still touched by the urgency, sincerity, the authenticity of what they're expressing. So for those who want to rediscover Rodin, the exhibit at the East Wing will be on display through next January. In Washington, Andrea Fleischer, Action News.